Hello everyone, I'm Céline Kawaji and today I'm going to show you how I personally use Pocket App as a content storage tool for, from many sources. So I previously showed you how I collect content from various sources using Feedly and how I save this content directly to Pocket. If you missed this one, you'll find the link uh, of the video down there uh, on the description section. So now we can start. This is Pocket. This is the home page when I can, um, uh, where I can access actually the content that I saved earlier from both Feedly application and landing pages from marketing campaigns I'm currently working on. So to save the content from the web, simply install Pocket app on your mobile app uh, or Pocket ads on uh, from your web browser. So. Now let's click uh, on one article or one landing pages, uh, just, uh, you know, selecting it. Then I can either open the, the page on a web browser if I need to read the full article or press uh, or I can directly press to share uh, button and then select buffer. Once I do that, buffer is opening automatically in and I just need to select which social media I want to post the article to. I can select multiple uh, uh, social media or simply select one or the other. So then I can amend the text and adapt it uh, for each of the social media I'm using. For Twitter, as an example, I will add the, the proper hashtag and change the link uh, with an image. So, as we know, tweets with images have a better impact. So it's better to, to actually search for uh, an image. So I, I personally search it on Pixabay first, and then uh, I can accept, uh, access it uh, for later. So I saved the image earlier, earlier, so now I just need to select it. Most of posts, uh, you'll find it fiddly, will have an image you can actually use it from. Once it's done, just click on buffer and you're done. Once I'm done reading uh, with the article, I can just click on this button uh, to remove it from my content so I can ensure I'm, I'm not going to post it another time. I can of course keep the article if I want to post it later and try it uh, as an example with a different title. This is how I use Pocket to save all my content from various sources and post it to my social media using the integration with Buffer automation tool. Next time, I will show you how I use read tag or write tag, I'm not sure exactly how I should say it, so to ensure my posts are actually reaching my audience. Thanks for watching!